Hey everybody, T Riz here, and today I'm going to show you how you can hook up your Apple LED cinema display to your Apple Silicon based Mac. Now, by default, newer Macs actually do not support, nor do they include, a mini display port. So, if you have an older Apple monitor, such as the Apple LED cinema display, you're left with very few options in terms of being able to connect that to a Macintosh that has only USB-C ports, for an example. So in addition to newer Macs not having mini display ports, even if you do connect your Apple LED cinema display to your newer Macintosh computer, you'll find that actually the OS itself does not recognize volume controls, brightness controls, but luckily in this video I'll show you how you can go about ensuring that you get the most features and breathe new life into your Apple LED cinema display. Now the Apple LED cinema display is by no means new. Originally released in October of 2008, this monitor is almost 15 years old. 15 years! However, in typical app Apple fashion, it still has the aesthetic and build quality that we've come and continue to love Apple for. Sporting a 1920 by 1200 screen resolution, eyesight camera, and speakers, the Apple LED Cinema Display honestly still offers quite a bit of features that would satisfy most average consumers. Granted, it is not a new monitor in the sense of screen resolution, but for those who simply need a second monitor or are looking to consolidate their setup, it might be worth considering the Apple LED Cinema Display. So to get started, you'll obviously need an Apple LED Cinema Display, a newer Apple Macintosh computer, and as well as a USB-C to mini display port adapter. In fact, you can actually get an a dongle or adapter like this on Amazon for less than $20. I will include the link in the description below. In order to be able to control the volume and brightness of your Apple LED cinema display, you will need a free third-party program called Monitor Control. So here's the GitHub page for Monitor Control. Uh, it can look pretty intimidating, but bear with me. If we just scroll down a bit, you'll see that there's a download the app link. We'll click that. And then if we scroll down a bit more, you'll see that you can find the Monitor Control DMG. The download should start automatically, in which case we'll open up our downloads and then simply copy Mission Control into our Applications folder. So once you open Monitor Control, you can access it from the menu bar. By selecting Preferences, you can see that there's quite a bit of customization available within the program itself, including menu icons, brightness controls, some additional controls, uh, keyboard controls for brightness and contrast, PC keyboard capabilities, really quite a bit of flexibility that they, uh, they gave us here. Now once you've configured monitor control to the preferences that best suit you, you're good to go. You'll be able to control the brightness as well as the volume of your Apple LED cinema display on your newer Mac computer. Now if you found this video helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe. Um, I'm certainly looking to grow this channel and provide more tips as to how each of us can get more life or breathe new life into our older Apple products. Thanks again, and I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Ciao!